Hey y'all, so today we are looking at the IoT sample project. This is something that just came out, I believe today, from Unity's industry team, so it's all free to use. It's in the asset store. I'll link to it in the description below, and let's take a look. So whenever you open up this page, you're gonna immediately see a few different metrics that you can use to visualize what's happening in this environment. Uh, everything from heat maps to hot spots, and understanding how lights are impacting different pieces of the area, as well as some seating charts, humidity, CO2 emission, etc. The whole idea is that this is your template to get in and use if you want to understand how to connect external data sources into the editor. This has a lot of data sources built into it, but the idea is that as you understand how these synthetic data sources within the engine feed into this environment, that you can replace these synthetic data sources with your own endpoints, whether that be a Raspberry Pi, an Arduino, or whatever else you're pointed to. So looking at this very quickly, and then we'll open it right up inside of the editor, we have URP compatibility. So this is all going to work in the universal render pipeline. And again, this showcases how to seamlessly integrate IoT devices within Unity. Interestingly enough, there's also a WebGL demo right down here. So if you want to just open it up and see how it works, you can open it here. And as it mentions down here, you can actually get in and connect this thing to an external data source within this project itself, or you can run it in that simulated mode that I just mentioned. So I'm excited to get in here and start working with it. Let's go ahead and open up the editor. So I'm going to open up Unity Hub go into a new version. So I'm just gonna use 6.2, go into a universal 3D scene here. I'm gonna put this into my org. I also don't know if I want this local or connected to the cloud. I'm just gonna leave it local for the time being. Uh, that is a nice quality of life improvement that has come in the most recent iterations of the hub is that your create local project is now right up here at the top. It's not buried at the bottom anymore. All right, I'm going to go ahead and create project and let's take a look. All right, so our URP scene just launched. I'm going to go ahead and install the asset. To do that easily, I'm just going to come back into the asset page, hit add to my assets, and now I can open that in Unity. So I'm going to hit open in Unity editor. It's going to pull that up in my asset list. I'm going to say great. Now let's go ahead and download that. and then I'm gonna import into project. I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite my current project settings. It has dependencies, so I'm gonna go ahead and install all of those dependencies. All right, and then it also flags a, hey, go ahead and restart your editor. I'm also gonna go ahead and import everything that it tells me to here, and I'm going to override everything. So the nice thing is all of this is done almost in a wizard style where I just have to keep clicking accept if I want to accept the next step. I'm not having to figure out which dependencies are missing. It's doing all of that work for me, which is awesome. Okay, so now that it's just finished installing, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out. I'm gonna file, save. I'm gonna exit out of the editor because it asked for me to restart, which is totally fine. And then I'm gonna relaunch. All right, so it is now relaunched. And inside of IoT Sample Project, this is where you can start getting in to understand all of the device simulator scripts, the locators, the documentation, and everything that you could want to get in here and start poking around at. You also have some prefabs in here like AI bots, a cleaner, etc. But what we want to do is just go into scenes and grab that IoT sample scene. So now that we have that, it's just compiling a shader in the background. So this is looking great right off the bat. If we look in here and understand what's happening, I can turn on my gizmos and click on one of these lights. These are baked lights into the scene. So if I go into window, 
rendering, lighting, pull lighting over here and go into baked light maps. We already have all the light maps baked in here for this scene. So that's awesome. I also see that there's a nav mesh already made for us. I love it. So I'm just going to hit play, go ahead and see what this scene looks like. We'll look through the different controls very quickly. It's still compiling shaders right here, so no big deal. Oh, that's absolutely awesome. So you have your walking avatar using that nav mesh that was drawn out. You have your robot, also likely using the nav mesh or, uh, or animated out on timeline. I'd be interested to poke at that a little bit more. If we come over here and look at seating occupancy, I can then click on individual seats and start to look at if it's occupied or not. We also have temperatures. So here we can see a nice little VFX uh, particle system happening, which is very cool. And if I click on any of these, it's going to give us some different metrics here. Looks like some of the rooms are not set up yet, but some of them are. So click around and find the ones that work. If we click on this button right down here, we can then continue to look in here at room occupancy. So then we can look at per room, how many seats are available, how many people are in there. In here, we are looking at number of devices in here and temp. And then lastly, we can pull up our messages here, which looks like more or less a console feed of what's happening to give us a device ID of what's having an update or what needs attention. So I don't wanna make this video longer than it needs to be. I just wanted to point out that if you've been interested in getting into IoT devices, plugging in external sources of data and seeing how that comes through into Unity, visualizing all of that in a 3D scene, this is the asset for you. Again, I'll have that link in the description. Thank you to the Unity team for building this. I hope y'all are having a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.